Today's episode is brought to you by BuyRainbowTrees.com. Welcome everybody to today's video. I'm going to show you guys how to clone your lemon citrus plants and it's really easy if you follow these steps and make sure you do watch till the end of the video. I'd like to hear your feedback and then if you do try this make sure you do leave comments down below. I'd like to hear your experiences on trying this method. Basically we've got a, well I guess this is an old start of the show. Uh, we had a five part video series on how to grow a lemon tree from seed and this is our guy here. It's time for pruning and it grew about three feet in one year. Did really really well. Um, and what I want to do is I want to just kind of uh, take off some of these vertical shoots and we're going to make them into uh, well, we're going to try to promote, I should say, some lateral shoots because that's where the fruit's going to come from, these lateral shoots, okay? So I'll show you how to snip it and where to snip it from, and then I've got some over here prepared and, and kind of what we do after that process. So what you want to do is you want to find a node or basically where the leaf is protruding from, that is called a node. That is where you're going to get action. That's where your roots are going to start. So what I'm going to do is I've, I've located this leaf right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into that right where it's coming out of on that stem. Right there. Okay, so if you can see this, right there is exactly where we want to cut into. And then we're going to remove this leaf. Okay, because that's where that action is going to come from. Your roots are going to start to come out right here. And I'll show you what you need uh, to kind of promote and help that growth. Uh, the leaves here that are left, you can peel them off and leave, I leave two leaves on, on my cuttings and uh, I just cut these leaves in half. That helps to retain moisture because what we want is we want this to retain moisture. We want the roots to come out the base. Okay, so we've prepped that. I've got a couple other guys over here ready to go. One thing that you guys will need is a rooting hormone. I'm using Fast Root from miracle Grow. It works great. It's just a powder form going to help promote uh, root growth. It's a hormone there and uh, we're just going to place it on the base of these cuttings. So you can see I've been doing cuttings all morning. Got a little bit of a mess going on here. but um, So here's one. We're just going to take this. We're going to dip it into the jar. Take off all the excess. And that's what you want there. So I'm going to prepare these four. Dipping it in the root hormone and then just tapping off the excess. Some of your uh, trees, if you've grown from seed and you watched my videos and you've tried it on your own, you'll notice some of these lateral shoots will have thorns and that's okay. That's just, uh, it's non-fruit bearing, no big deal. But if there's a existing plant that you guys really, really do like, this is the way to get the exact replica. You can't grow from seed and expect to get the same fruit. It's hybridized, it's taken, it was taken the pollen from something else and now it's created an offspring and the offspring just like kids no one is the same so your citrus is not going to taste the same either okay so i just have a regular pot here whatever you guys want to use that's fine the soil is the key uh, it needs to stay moist the type of soil does not matter okay so we simply just sink that into the soil there um, we've got a greenhouse on the farm here, so if you guys are worried about, this has to stay moist. If you guys are worried about this drying out, you may, you may be gone for a couple days or you're at work and you may forget to water. Um, you can always put plastic around this Whatever. top. It really doesn't matter. The leaves can touch the plastic. And just take a rubber band and take it across the top of this here. Um, and then that way it stays moist a little longer and you don't have to water as much. So. Alright guys, down below in the comments, make sure you let me know if you do try this out, how it works out for you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something today, and we'll see you in the next video. Today's episode is brought to you by BuyRainbowTrees.com.